Here's how to set up a hugel culture bed with your sub pod. Start by popping in a few logs about the size of the garden bed. Next, go ahead and fill in any of the gaps with any old branches or sticks. Now it's time to add a layer of manure. This one here is goat, but you could use cow or chicken. The idea here is to layer the browns and greens together, and we'll do this continuously throughout the video. What comes after manure? Yes, dry browns. We're gonna use hay, but you can use paper, cardboard, or any other dry brown material. Now add another layer of green. I'm using fresh lawn clippings, which is high in nitrogen. Go back to your browns. This is a bunch of old leaves that I found under a tree. Now, I highly recommend adding a couple of handfuls of biochar or just crushed charcoal, as this is going to accelerate the microbial process tenfold. And now for the last layer, finished compost or soil. I'm adding about 20 centimeters or eight inches. This is important because the annuals that I'll be planting in here have a root depth of this height. Now the amazing thing about hugel cultures is that they have a large reservoir of carbon below. Carbon is the backbone of life, so I expect there to be a huge microbial and worm population over time. Pair this with the sub pod and it's just going to regenerate the soil and plants all around. Would you try this at home? Let me know in the comments below.